Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to share some steps to move from software developer to a DevOps engineer. Say I am a software developer, I'll be part of a team. My responsibility would be to design the application, create some tasks and then implement the features for front end or the back end and then manage the code and push it to the code repository. This is a responsibility I'll be doing day in and day out as a software developer. But when I talk about DevOps, there are more responsibility than a software developer. As a DevOps engineer, I have more responsibilities like I build the code and I am also responsible for running the code in the cloud in production so that the customers can start using it. I build it, I run it. As a DevOps engineer, I'll be part of the team. I'll be developing the product and then push the code to the repository. It will be pulled by the CI CD pipeline and then it will be built and deployed to the cloud environment. Once the application is up and running, it will also be monitored using tools like Grafana, Datatalk or Nagios. So as a DevOps engineer, I should have skills to create this pipeline using Jenkins or TeamCity or any other tool. Then I should also have the skills to create the infrastructure in the cloud environment. And I should also know how do I manage the resources in the cloud environment. For example, AWS Azure Google Cloud Platform. Then how to create the logs and manage the logs using ELK stack. So as a DevOps engineer, he has more responsibility than a software developer. There are a lot of skills required to become a DevOps engineer. I would prefer you to start learning these tools as a side project. For example, CACD tools like Jenkins, Travis CI, TeamCity, you can start learning one by one and start creating the pipeline on your own. And then configuration management tools and orchestration tools like Kubernetes, and then cloud environment, coding tools and testing tools. There is a lot to learn. So I would suggest have a plan and start slowly one by one so that it will help you in your upcoming projects. Hope this information is useful. All the best for your career. Thank you.